Breaking news, Nez Nation, we have our jury. A jury of 12 has been selected and hypocritical, corrupt Judge Mershon has announced we have our jury, which means opening statements could begin as early as Monday morning. Here's what we know so far, and I'm going to stick around because I'm going to show you some videos that you're just, they're going to absolutely blow your mind, especially one of them from one of Trump's Longtime adversaries, uh, a former ally who turned major foe. Watch this. Just stick around. But let me first get into the um, the kind of logistics and uh, the facts here. A jury of 12 people uh, were seated Thursday in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial in New York, and the court quickly turned to selecting alternatives. So there's still a couple of alternatives uh, or alternates, rather, that need to be uh, uh, selected. So the jury includes a sales professional, a software engineer, English teacher, and multiple lawyers. Um, the case centers on the $130,000 Trump's lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, paid to porn actor Stormy Daniels. Trump faces 34 felony counts. He denies any wrongdoing. More and more legal experts and scholars are saying that this is absolutely egregious and a sham. And wait till I show you this video coming up. It's amazing. Earlier in the day, two other jurors were dismissed, one after expressing doubt about her ability to be fair following disclosure of details about her identity. Another juror was let go over concerns that some of his answers in court may have been inaccurate. Is there any possibility, Nez Nation? Let me know in the comments that the former president could ever get a fair trial in New York godforsaken city? Let me know in the comments if you think he... Give me a capital Y or a capital no if you think he can't. I expect to see a lot of capital N's. Um, in other developments, prosecutors asked for Trump to be held in contempt over a series of social media posts, blah, 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 BS, BS, BS. And the judge barred reporters from identifying jurors' employers. The jury selection process picked up momentum with the selection of seven. Remember, because of this is a minimum felony case, which is pretty much a sham case, there's actually zero crime, zero victim as usual, just like Letitia Big Shame James, just like Cash Money G., um, they're only allowed, each side is only allowed 10 strikes as opposed to 20 strikes. So this happens really, really fast. A cancer nurse on Thursday revealed uh, that one of the seven, a cancer nurse, had conveyed that after sleeping it overnight, she had concerns about her ability to be fair and impartial in this case. Probably just wanted to be let go. There is not one juror that has been selected that is going to be fair and impartial. Just don't get that twisted. Um... She said, yesterday alone, I had friends, colleagues, and family push things to my phone regarding questioning my identity as a juror. Uh, she said, I don't believe at this point that I can be fair and unbiased. A second seated juror was dismissed after prosecutors raised concern that he may not have been honest in answering a jury selection question by saying that he had never been accused or convicted of a crime. What a shock. A pool of jurors in New York City? What a shock. Unfair, impartial, biased, uh, lied on ans uh, uh, sur juror survey questions? What a huge... I'm shocked, aren't you? 12 jurors and six alternates must be seated to hear the trial. Mershon said Tuesday that opening statements could begin as soon as Monday. More importantly, this is literally... The only possibility, more than likely, that out of all the other criminal prosecutions that are, you know, weaponizing and coming after Trump, this is the only case, this hush money trial case, this sham, this complete farce, could be the only one that reaches a courtroom before November's presidential election. Now, you, you, you keep hearing me say, well, well, Nez, you keep saying that this is a farce. You keep saying, Nez, that this is a, a, a sham. I'm not the only one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play for you a video right now that's going to, I think, shock you. Very, very surprising. It surprised me. This comes from former Attorney General William Barr. Check this out. Trial has begun here in New York City. It's quite a spectacle, quite an event. Um, I know that you think that the prosecution 
seems uh, far-fetched, maybe yeah. the best uh, way I could, uh, maybe that's the kindest way that I can say that. Um, your thoughts as to how this is going now that it's underway and what well, you think about it? Well, I, I've said from the beginning, this, this case is an abomination. You know, it's obviously political. Seven years after he pays hush money to try to come up with this case. It's also, as you say, it's not only far-fetched, it, it, they're trying to predicate it on a federal crime which wasn't prosecuted, and they're wrong about it. This was not uh, a, a campaign contribution. They're just wrong on the law. But to me, this shows uh, that the real threat to liberty, uh, the real threat to our system, are the excesses of the progressive mm -hmm. left. They, they're perverting the system of justice, uh, and you know that's where the danger lies: the corruption and subversion of our institutions by the left. Uh, I heard you call this hush money case outrageous, um, and I also know you've been asked many times. You've had your disagreements with the former president. Um, he's the presumptive nominee. We assume he will be the nominee. Will you support him in 2024? Well, I've said all along, you know, given two bad choices, I think it's my duty to pick the person I think would do the least harm to the country. And in, in my mind, that's uh, I will vote the Republican mm, ticket. You I will. will support the Republican ticket. I think the real danger to the country, the real danger to democracy, as I say, is the progressive agenda. And uh, while Trump and I said uh, Trump may be uh, playing Russian roulette, but uh, continuation of the Biden administration is national suicide, in my opinion. National suicide. That about sums it up. Uh, I could not have said it any better myself. I think, um, by the way, were you surprised by that? Were you shocked to hear from the former Attorney General Bill Barr say these things about this case, A, and say what he said about Trump and the Republican ticket? I mean, I don't think anybody can doubt that the progressive agenda, based on facts, based on what we've seen at the border, based on what we've seen in the economy, based on what we've seen on crime, based on what we've seen on so many other factors, I think it would be the absence of any logical mind, any logical American citizen who, who loves where they live, who loves the country, who wants to see this country flourish. I don't think there's any shadow of doubt that the progressive agenda, uh, to quote Bill Barr, would absolutely be a national suicide if we continued this way. Another reason why I just I feel even more vindicated. I know I've said this a million times. This is the most consequential election of our lives. Period. Since 1861, this is the most consequential election of our, all of our lives. We need to galvanize. We need to get our country back. This is lethal. A national suicide. You heard it from Bill Barr himself. This sham trial, this political weaponization of the DOJ, the Department of Justice, this egregious miscarriage of the criminal uh, justice system, it's been ongoing since even when he was president. They have done everything. The swamp, the vermin have done everything in their power to impede his ability to make the country better, his ability to implement policies that matter to the American people, who he represents, his constituents, and now his ability to get back there. And which I actually, this, this finger right here went to the, this little piggy went to the, where do they go? The grocery store? I forget. Um, boy, I'm losing my youth, aren't I? Um, I, I, I didn't, I didn't believe this until, well, I always had a kind of a feeling, especially when I went to bed on that fateful evening in November in 2020, um, waking up only to find all of those four swing states completely flipped. And they announced that Tombstone Biden won. I always kind of felt it, but it just, again, I think maybe it was my own, I was blinded by my own love of my country and my refusal and denial to believe that it could ever be possible. But everything I just said, plus perhaps what happened in the 2020 election, there has been such a mountain of credible substantive evidence that it's hard to not be incredulous. It's hard to not take a look at it and go, wow, they might have actually done what everybody says. They might have stolen that sucker from Trump. So you put all of this together. 
And then you watch this. Check this out. This is an American president. This is the office of the United States of America's highest office. And we're doing this. This is sheer stupidity. And I'll tell you what should happen. This should be pushed until after he wins or doesn't win. This should be not part of this election cycle at all. And this is not a Trump-loving comment. This is about the American brand where I bring capital from all around the world to invest here. We look like clowns. Yes. I hate this. Yeah. You think it was just a coincidence that Putin didn't decide to invade until Trump was out of office? You think it was just a coincidence that Iran... You think Iran would ever dare do what they did uh, only a few days ago to Israel if Trump was in office? Or anybody for that matter with any backbone, with any guts, with any balls, with any American balls? You think they'd have the guts to do what they did and attack Israel on that fateful evening? That Saturday? How many wars are we involved in? How many proxy wars are we involved in? The globe uh, is in total unrest. The Cold War is the hottest it's been since uh, its inception. Global perception of America, to quote Kevin O'Leary, we look like clowns. We look weak. We look feeble. We're doing the same thing that banana republics do. We are going after political opponents, denying the American people their constitutional right to vote for who they want to. What are you so afraid of? What are you so afraid of pushing up Daisy's Pelosi? What are you so afraid of Obama? What are you so afraid? I'm going after the power people. You notice I don't mention Biden and Kami Kamala, the puppets. What are you so afraid of, Obama? Why won't you just let the guy run? You afraid you can't beat him at the polls? You know something that we don't? Hmm? You know he can win and you know he's going to win, right? So you're going to do everything in your power to stop him. Doesn't matter if it's legal or not. There is a good chance that this channel is going to be deleted right after I publish this video. You better damn believe I'm going to publish it. I am begging you, Nez Nation, take heed of what is going on here. I am begging you, Nez Nation, we need to galvanize. We need to come together. We need to take our nation back. If you love this country, tap that thumbs up. Share this video a billion and six times with everybody you know, because we got to get our country back. People have no clue. People have no clue. They just believe what they see on these screens. That's why I talk about the stuff that mainstream media, aka state media, propagandist media, won't talk about. I throw this off to you. What do you guys think? What do you think of what Kevin O'Leary said? What do you think of what Bill Barr more particularly, more specifically, I was maybe pleasantly, but I was shocked that he came out and said what he said. Um, and I do believe that Bill Barr, from a legal aspect, um, is telling the absolute 100% truth about this trial because there's so many other legal experts and scholars. Jonathan Turley comes to mind, so many others. Phil Holloway comes to mind that um, agree and say the same thing. They said, this is a complete farce that this is happening. This is a complete banana republic move. So I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of that? As always, I try with my whole soul best to respond to all the comments. It's literally physically impossible. So consider becoming a member. Members get top priority as well as super chats and super things are all appreciated. Um, Remember, you also get uh, uh, badges next to your name, exclusive access to our members-only Discord, where we all hang out, talk, chat, uh, exclusive video content, live stream content, um, shout-outs, and first dibs on comments. So make sure that you become a member. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment to join. Also, become a Nez Nation Insider. It is our free newsletter, so you never miss out on all the top stories, current events, analysis, and commentary that mainstream media won't cover right to your inbox. It's free. It's in the pinned comment as well, the show notes and the description. Become a Nez Nation Insider now. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right now, Nez Nation. As always, God bless you, your families, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.